Now, the, in some ways, this is a, a, a powerful lesson for me in that when we are in this place, when it, personally, when I am kind of uh, inspired to share these ideas of of love and of our core self and of, I mean, th th this, this is a really powerful illustration of how there are, people are get caught up in this surface level ego crap that really is, it, it's so far from, from their true selves. And, and I do it myself, you know, on a daily basis, I get caught up in things. And so when we come to this place and this, when I say place, I mean, you know, a state of consciousness, you could be watching on the archives and it's the same place. And if you're watching the archives, you're missing the, the chat room that is um, being flooded with uh, a number of people that, that seem to be very focused with my sexuality and, and, and stating with a, uh, uh, anyway, it's it, they're they're trying to disrupt, and it's a it's a to me it's a powerful illustration because when I can get into that state of acknowledging that that's ego crap from them, it, it it helps me to see that I often do that too, and my judgments of people are coming from that ego place. But when I'm in this place, I know that I love these people, and not their ego actions. It's that's disappointing. But that's not who they are. Who they are is this, they are a, a, a expression of the divine. Um, Alan Watts, he had this cool illustration. He says that, that imagine if there is a light and it's covered with a black ball and a black ball is filled with pins. Each one of those pins, each aperture is us. And as we, we our aperture is, is our expression of the divine energy, of the divine oneness. Um, and so when there is so much wonderful energy that, that, that comes here that it helps me to really recognize the, the insignificance of the negative stuff. It also, you know, I, I recognize that there was a time in my life when I was much more confused about what life is about and what, um, you know, the value of, of being positive and the value of being loving and, and, and how that resonates with me on a long-term basis. I used to really, I used to get a kick out of being disruptive. I mean, I was probably 13, and I can only imagine that the people in this chat room that are trying to disrupt this our, our gathering are in the same category, and, and, and maybe I will say I am encouraged and hopeful and absolutely confident that in time and through life and through exposure to the many miracles of, of this planet and the people and the love that's out there, that they will evolve too. I have shame for things that I said and did when I was younger. I used to be extremely homophobic when I was in junior high. I mean, I, I think everyone that I hung out with, we would say fag, you know, and that was like a horrendous concept, the idea of being labeled gay. And so I, I also, to fit in, because I was caught up in that ego world, I embraced that judgment and spewed it too, because I wanted to, be, I didn't want to be judged. Um... And so I, I am so thankful to to people that you know to one. I'll give some shout outs to Avalon and Beyond Dualism and Brienne and Cat and Celebrate Life and System and Glad Eyes and Hate and Jaw and Lee and Millie and Penguin and Sinertia and Tui and Un what was it Unsolved Bubble and Unsilbu. Um, because it's like in the embrace that we share of intention, I feel like we, we are impervious to the negativity. Not only that, I feel like we are spreading positivity, whether they know it or not. Oh, well, we have the chat room has lost all functionality as it has become flooded by 
pretty serious state of confusion. And I, 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 I intensely wish you healing and love and light.